Inspiration for me doesn't come from other people trashing walls. I grew up skateboarding, I grew up listening to all sorts of music. And I lived here in my mark there while skateboarding and listening to this and that. And then I moved to another place and do the same thing and realized, wow, if I go back, it's still gonna be there. Once I upped it from white out pens and sharpie markers to, to paint, it just became a whole other level. Climbing up on buildings and reach and just going on all sorts of extremes for it. Just getting that rush out of me. My reason for writing, ever since I was two years old, before that, I was always embedded in hip hop. Where I came up, it's like, it was, nobody was on, nobody's emceeing, nobody's in the game, you know, New York got a lot. So it's like, damn, what the fuck are you doing here? Because it's so suburban, you know, everywhere, but at the same time, it's so urban. Where I live, it's like projects here and nice houses there, you know what I'm saying? So, it's all crazy. senses are just through the roof. In a way you are, you're on the way. You know, where you've been and what you did there and how you did And if we can't be heard, if we can't get on the radio, if we can't get on TV, we're gonna get on these walls right here. If we can't get our shows on the great street, we're gonna get we're gonna do our shows right here for free. I wouldn't go up to a, a car and, or a house and do that. You know, something you can read, anyone can read it, you can read and you can see that. It's in your face, and it's, you can't do nothing about it. You keep seeing it, and it just gets more recognized. You want to be told by your peers, hey, I like what you did, or, you know what I'm saying? I've seen, I seen that. There's a lot of cool artists out there that I respect. Like Jeff Perry, some kids down in New York. Sleep where I can sleep, eat what I can eat. It's all this whole big counterculture that just comes together and it just thrives within itself.